What's up everyone, Rich at Rivera Urban Homestead. Um, I came across a little situation I want to tell you about real fast. Um, let's go in the chicken run and I'll explain. Okay, so here's the situation. My big cuddly chicken that I really liked appears to be a rooster. It's starting to display rooster-like um, attitude confronting you somewhat so I'm getting rid of it gotta get rid of it before it starts crowing you know what I mean so I have someone to come pick it up today which is a shame because again this was my big buddy here but you could tell look at the feathers tail feathers are starting to swoop down like a rooster compared to its sister right here look at that that's the hen and then that's the rooster okay so how did this happen how did my big cuddly hen become a rooster well when I went to tractor supply when I bought them I saw there was black australorp pullets so I got two of those and I saw what I thought was sex links. Um, turns out I still had the box inside from when I brought him home and carried him in. I looked at the box. It said two black australor pullets and two straight run. Straight run means they don't know they're male or female. They just give you two of their this herd, <laughs> this flock. So I got two straight runs instead of two sex links. So there you go. So now I'm thinking, what kind of chicken is this? I'm thinking Rhode Island Red, but I'm not quite sure. Other than the features that it has with the tail starting to kind of do the fold down, the long feathers coming out, that's a key sign. There's saddle feathers that come out a little bit later on as it gets older, but his demeanor has been changing. Like the other day I went in there and it ran up to me and bit me in the leg, like grabbed me by with its beak. And now it's starting to do the where it fluffs up and it comes closer to you like this. Key signs of a rooster. So if it is, if it isn't, either way, a squirrel just <laughs> ran from my roof and jumped onto the tree. Anyway, um, either way I got to get rid of it because I don't want something starting to crow and all that stuff then my neighbors might get a little uh little edgy on that so i put it on craigslist someone actually called me a little bit ago or yesterday they texted me and was like hey you still got that little rooster i have a young flock it would be cool so i got someone coming over today to grab it and my big cuddly is leaving so that kind of stinks but I still, I'll still have five chickens all together, so we're still good to go as far as the egg production. So who watched a fight last night? Anyone watch the UFC fights? Comment below what you think about it. McGregor got whooped, man. I was thinking it's either if he stood up and fought, if it was a stand-up fight, I thought he had advantage, but when I saw Khabib get him down right away, this is UFC, by the way, for people who don't watch the fight game, but... um. When Khabib got him down, I was like, oh, it's going to be a long night. Sure enough, it was for him. But anyway, that was fun. I had some neighbors over. We had a good time. Hung out till like 1 in the morning till the fights were over. It was fun last night. But this morning, got the rooster getting out of here. They're coming to pick him up between 10 and 11, they said. And then after that, um, I, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to show you a couple things going on around the garden area. And then I want to tell you what we're going to be doing probably next weekend. So hold on a second. All right, so the first thing we got going on is this volunteer Chinese red noodle bean plant. I planted it a long time ago, but it just started taking off a while ago. Look at these noodles. Isn't that cool? This is the Chinese red noodle. They're like about a foot long. That's pretty cool. But over here is what's really neat. My Barbosa cherry. Remember we planted this a little over a year ago now? Look at this. Look at that. We got some little cherries starting to come up. 
and there's a lot of them if you look under here look at all them cherries it's supposed to do really good in my kind of climate humidity tropical look at the little flower if I can keep it still long enough look at that flowers got some more flowers over here so we're gonna get some bar Barbados is it Barbados cherry or something like that I can't even remember guys but we planted it just a little stub that came in the mail and now look at it it's really taking root it's really starting to grow good so that's cool I hope it just takes over this whole area and we got a bunch of little cherries maybe by next year or even this cool season it looks like my poor garden God, remember how nice it used to look? All the wood is gone. I took out the boxes. It's all right. It's all right. It ain't over, guys. We are about to build right here. We're about to build a new raised bed. I think that's what I might do next weekend. Next weekend is my birthday. Friday, actually, is my birthday, October 12th. So I'm off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. My wife said, what do you want to do for your birthday? I said... I want to buy the wood to build my new raised bed. So, we are going to be starting the raised bed from scratch, from scratch, and we're going to fill it up from scratch. We're going to do it all on video so we can see how I, I build it, how I fill it up, and then after that, hey, how it works. So, in the future, we're going to have one, two, three long ones. I'm building. Um, 12 inches high by 12 foot long beds here so all this is going to be remade guys it's going to be exciting it's going to look good can't wait to get started so next weekend look forward to building the raised bed and in the comments below again guys um, comment on how you fill up your raised beds when you start new and maybe I'll put some ideas into place so let me know flower bed is blowing up all kinds of goodies for the pollinators all right what in the world is this thing hold on here let's look that's a big old frog frog do you know where my child is hello is there anyone in there did you eat my kid no what I want to do another video. Stand up. Let me see you. Look at you. What are you doing in there? Stand up. <laughs> Did the frog eat you? No. I want to play hide and seek. Okay, go in. Let me see it close. And we can play. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're silly, Bub. I love you. Ah, I guess what? what? Your birthday is October 18th. It's in two weeks. What? You're going to be how old? Five. Five of them. That's awesome. Then I get to move to a different school. Right? Well, next year you go to the you go to regular school, yes, kindergarten. You go to Garden Elementary. <laughs> Aw. Kisses, kisses from the doggy. be a good rooster to someone's little flock though, huh? Hope you have fun out there. Alright guys, so we're back here in the chicken run area. We're going to just do a perimeter check, make sure there's no areas where the chicks can get out, um, and just keep it nice and safe so we can make sure that they are safe. Tyler wanted to go shirtless. I'm trying to suck in the beer belly, but it's all
Okay, so all this side is pretty good. I'm gonna put like a fence piece. Here, let me get over here to show you. Over here, I don't want them getting back behind there and being by the privacy fence where the dog is next door. I just don't want them back there, so I need to block that off. And over here, everything looks good. I just, again, need to block off that access to the back area. Back there. Don't want them back there. What do you want to do? Let's do it. Can you open it? Nope, stay in for a minute. Hello, girls. Look at how cute they are. Oh, I gotta get you some food and refill your water. Okay, bub, what are you doing while I'm cleaning out the waters? I am gonna get the chickens some food, but I can't reach the scooper. You can't reach the scooper? Well, I'll help you. Get that open. Well, well, especially with a molly on top. What a goon. <laughs> Watch out. Ah, <laughs> oh, molly licked my glasses off. Hi. Oh, hi. Pick it up, Molly. Okay. All right. Let's get, can we? Need help with the scooper? Yeah, they're not No, 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 use the scooper that's in there. Oh, the scooper. Fill it up, all the way up. Like a big fish. Let me see. Yep, and now grab some of that cracked corn in the bag in the bottom there. Yep, with your hand if you can reach it. You need help? No, 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 you hold that. I'll give you some. And then I'll put it here. Molly, what are you waiting for? It's not like dog food. Move, Molly. All right, ready? Hold it tight. You might want it. And just spread it out all over the place. This is fun. Don't get it in the water. I just cleaned it, remember? Don't throw it into the water, by the water. There you go. Good job. That's it. Okay, you do this, and then I'm going to go clean the other waterer, okay? okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Don't let him out, okay? okay. Go. Today, we were kind of busy with the chickens, and I feed them some food everywhere so they can eat it, and, I put, and they love it. And they're looking for some more food. And so anyway, Tyler went back inside after helping me out a little bit. I couldn't find my shirt that I was wearing earlier, so I just grabbed another one. Same day, different shirt. Now. I have this piece here. tuck under and just block that area off on this end. I think someone's getting ready to lay an egg. Or she just wants to come outside. Okay, next thing. It's getting a little too overgrown back here. I don't want it this overgrown. If I want any trees growing back here, it's going to be an orange tree. So for now, <laughs> what are you getting?
Get them. Jumping in the pile, obviously. It's a beautiful pile for the lizards to hide in and for Molly to play. Anyway, I totally cleared this area out. My camera actually died while I was doing it. I didn't notice it until I went back to it, but so I'm using my phone right now. Hopefully you can hear me with this wind. But anyway, I cleared this out. I'm gonna definitely have to put up a piece of fencing up there because I don't want the chickens jumping over the chain link. But this is all nice and cleaned out for now. The back portions of the coop is blocked off. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm going to put this chain link fence across. I'm gonna let the chickens out in this section here along with the babies. We're gonna leave the door open. We're gonna let them come out here and explore a little. And um, we'll coax them out with some bread and we'll see how they act. So let's do it. Boy, look at the stalk on that guy. That is a big banana plant. <laughs> That's awesome. My bananas are getting big. Looking good. Looking good. Hopefully we get some bananas this year, huh? My bamboo forest. Molly loves playing in the bamboo forest. The chicks still haven't really come Give out yet. Give these girls a bale of straw. Piece of straw anyway. Here you go, babies. Oh, you love the straw. Boy, it is windy today, but it feels good. Come here. Come here. Come on. It's okay. Yeah. Good girl. Look at how high it is up in the sky. You don't get to see the sky with that sunshade on. I'm just looking at him from the window. I'll just keep checking on him and that's it. That phase is done now. We will start letting them out in here. We do have to clip their wings still. I have not done that. But um, we'll watch them closely today. We'll get their wings clipped before next weekend. All right, so anyway, my time is up. It is 1 o'clock. The Bronco game is about to start, so I'm going to grab a cold Coors Light. Front row seat to the Bronco game. Hopefully they don't piss me off this weekend. Y'all have a good day, and we will talk to you next weekend.